Oh, oh, the leader's up into the wall. He got put in the fence. Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Today, we've got the seventh race of the season from Dover. 100 laps around the Monster Mile should be a fun race. If you missed the last episode, we were at Richmond. I'll leave a link in the top right-hand corner of the video now. You can go back and give that a watch before you watch this one. Get caught up, and we'll be right here waiting for you when you're all done. But we'll look ahead to Dover and uh, look to put on a better performance than what we did at Richmond. We were not very good. The handling was all over the place, and it was just sort of a struggle. So hopefully we can bring a good truck to Dover and put down some fast laps. All right, as we look at the updated point standings, Austin Hill now atop the bunch. Uh, we're sitting 23rd in the standings. So we're really not making up a whole lot of ground. We're going to need to win at some point to, to get into the playoffs here. We're 62 points back. I actually think we lost ground on the cut line. So yikes, we got a lot of work to do. All right, let's select our truck to take with us. We got uh, the number two ready to go. 90s across the board. So a little bit of a step up from what we had at Richmond. This will be the best uh, speedway truck that we have brought. 90s across the board. If this thing isn't good, I don't know what to do. I guess we'll have to keep throwing more money at it. But I would imagine, I would hope that all 90s is going to be competitive. I guess we'll find out. And Well, we got our top 15 for our incentive contract uh, at Richmond. So we got to get two more here to fulfill that contract and get the $8,700. Well, only one way to find out if we can do that. That's to head out to the track. So let's do exactly that. Welcome to Dover International Speedway for the JEGS 200. Grant Enfinger, last week's winner, doesn't look like themself. Gustine isn't nearly as fast as expected. Ben Rhodes had to replace transmission before the race. He'll be starting in the back. You know who's not in the back? Us. I put down a whale of a qualifying lap, and we're going to be starting in, uh, it looks like 15th. We were 16th, but I think with Rhodes going to the back, we got a spot. So, yeah, we're going to start 15th. By far our best qualifying effort of the season. That's exciting. Hopefully that means that we're gonna run really well in this race too. 22 laps here in stage one. Looks like we can go 21 laps on fuel, so that's gonna be close. Oh boy, that wall will really sneak up on you out of the corners here at Dover. Really sneak up on you. Now, last time out in Richmond, we were just so loose to start the race. It was really, really tough to operate, you know, and pass people. So I, I kind of went with a little bit more snug approach to this. So if I needed to loosen it up, I could, but uh, it's, it feels a lot more secure. It gets through the corners nicely. It gets down the straightaways nicely. I think a lot of that has to do with being, you know, all 90s uh, across the board on this truck. And I think that's really the key. Once you get into the 90s, you, you finally have a truck that's uh, competitive against the AI. All right, boys, how we doing, everybody? Just going to go ahead and split uh, Gilliland and Tanner Gray here. Oh, that's a lot of contacts. That didn't work. Yeah, we all live to talk about it. Everybody's fine. Sorry about that. Sorry, everybody. Uh, bye. All right, you're clear. All right, well, hey, look at this. We're already up inside the top 10. Six laps into this thing. By far our best run this early in a race that we've had yet. So that's encouraging. These are the things that you love to see. Look at the runs that we get out of the corner. When I can run that line, send the truck in, let it wash up a little bit, and then do a late apex, pull it down the track to get the run off the corner, it really likes that. Except right there when I hit the wall. But it really likes that, as opposed to just running around the bottom for the entire radius of the corner. It doesn't like that. It likes that, it likes that line right there. Allows me to keep my momentum up all the way through the exit of the corner. Hey, Brett. Hey, Brett. Yeah, I'm looking to take that spot. I would not advise you chopping me like that again. Just a friendly warning from, from me to you. Big fan. Man has a great mustache. Truck Series champion. Raced against him in iRacing. 
Nice guy. But yeah, I'm taking the spot. All right, I'm taking it. So, kindly piss off. You got room. You're clear. Up next, Riley Worst. I mean, Herbst. You just keep running the top there, champ. Okay, bye. All right, P6. How about this? We're actually competitive. All we had to do is just spend money. I, you know, I think that that's one of the things this game absolutely captures the most realistically. Not so much the racing or the physics or the setups or the sound or anything actually having to do with the on-track, like, gameplay. But they really, really get the whole throw money at it to solve your problems in racing thing. Like, the more money you spend, the faster you're going to go. They absolutely nailed that aspect of it. So for that, 10 out of 10. We might just make it on fuel. I've been trying to save a little bit by lifting and coasting into the corners. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, the truck's handling really nicely. It's not getting loose. Run the line that I want to, and it just cuts in the center of the corner and carry a lot of speed down the straightaway. I think we make up a lot of time on corner exit, unless I smack the wall, like I've been doing. I don't know why I'm doing it. Oh, we already lapped Gus Dean. Jeez. Poor fella. The lap traffic's already playing a factor. It looks like Ross Chastain's the leader here. Just blowing through the field, putting people a lap down. <laughs> That was us last week at Richmond. All right, hey, Sheldon Creed, how's it going, man? Sheldon Creed now officially a NASCAR Truck Series winner. Weird to say. Clay, Clay, where are you going, Clay? All right, that's cool, I guess. Are we gonna get freezing? Uh, it's starting to wobble a little bit. I think we can get freezing for fourth. No problem. I really like how this truck is handling. It drives really nice. And yes, in case you're wondering, this is a Cup Series setup that I put into this. Three wide. Oh, boy. All right. I guess that works. Who's pitting? What? Is this actually going to work in our favor? The AI cars can't make it on fuel? No way. Is that so? Oh, oh, the leader's up into the wall. He got put in the fence <laughs> by whoever blew a tire there. That was Johnny Sauter who got absolutely fenced by whoever's smoking up there. Oh, my God. Oh, that's funny. But that's going to bring an end to stage one. Damn it. Uh, oh, he finished second. That's cool. Oh, we'll pit. I'm not fixing. I'm not or I'm not touching a thing on this. It drives beautifully. So uh, stage one is done. Stage two for you. Coming up next. All right. We are restarting in the fourth position. Chastain and Friesen, who had just pitted when the caution flew, are on the front row. We got Sheldon next to us. All right, we're up at the front of this thing. Let's see how we do. Now that we got some track position. Well, that was a, a, an awkward move to go around the outside of freezing, but we made it work. Oh, boy, that's close. How are we doing, everybody? All right, I'm getting absolutely trained out here. Meanwhile, Brett Moffitt is just running the damn wall at Dover for no discernible reason at all. He's just like, hey, guys. I'm just going to run the, the wall here at Dover. Don't mind me. Got a 
Ah. We're like three wide for second up there. Oh boy. Dude, this is a brawl right here. Absolute brawl. <laughs> That's great. Um, stage is 20 laps, by the way. As you can see. We can go 17 more on fuel. So we're good on fuel. I think everybody's good on fuel. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Oh, somebody ate shit back there. And there's the caution. Somebody ate massive shit behind me. I don't know who that was. Was that Moffitt? Yeah, it was Brett Moffitt. Well, that's what you get for running the wall, dummy. 26 cars on the lead lap. We're 12. Can we pick at a tire advantage and possibly beat these guys on tires? Should we gamble? Nah, we'll stay out. If we had a few more laps on the tires, I would have done it. But I don't think the tires are worn enough where it's going to make that big of a difference. All right, 12 laps left in stage two. Let's see if we're at the point where our truck is uh, coming to life here. Oh, as we go around the outside of Austin Hill. Bold move. Still there. Oh, we are still three wide. Now Christian Eckes is running the damn wall. Did you not see what happened to Moffitt when he ran the wall? Stupid. You got room. You're clear. That Ben Rhodes. Ben Rhodes started last with that uh, transmission change. Truck's fast. Look at this. Careful. Still there. You're just tearing through these guys. All right. Well, welcome to the top five, everybody. And I have seven laps to go here in stage two when we get back to the stripe. Our trucks come to life. The AI have finally stopped being uh, super speed. Well, here we come. All right. First up on the list, Sheldon Creed. Who's that? Chastain up at the wall there. I love how these guys run the wall. I can run the wall. It's okay. Got a lot of speed down the straightaway from it. Holy hell. I think this is the most balanced racing that we've had yet this season. We've had some amazing battles with, uh, with the AI cars. It's been really fun. I've, I've been enjoying this quite a bit. So I don't know how much of it's the 90 overall truck, how much of it's a good setup. I mean, it all plays into it, but here we are, third place. About to take second away from Ross Chassain. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time in this stage to catch Johnny Sauter. Four laps. I don't know if that's enough time unless he really slows down a lot. We might, uh, we might finish second in both stages. Look at this. I wish we could get this racing and iRacing, man. Jeez. Imagine if we had multi-groove racing and iRacing again. What happened to dynamic track surfaces? I miss that. NASCAR Heat can get it right, but iRacing cannot. Unbelievable. You know how fun iRacing would be if you could race side by side with people like that? And where you could run the top if you wanted to, you could run the middle if you wanted to. I racing would be so much more fun. I don't think we're gonna get to solder. He's he's pretty far out there. He's 1.3 seconds out there. I'm not gonna make up 1.3 in a lap. If this was a longer stage, we'd get him. But we're getting great points. For these uh, stage finishes, great points. And now we're going to be restarting stage three, hopefully in second if the pit crew doesn't blow it. So I'm feeling pretty confident about our chances here today at Dover. We're catching them too. It was 1.3. Now it was 1.9, actually. So we were closing in on them. But Sauter will uh, sweep the stages here. We'll get second in both stages as well. Bring it in and pit. Build up on fuel, take our four tires, not fixing any or not touching anything. I love the way it drives. 
Stage two is through. Stage three. Let's see. Can we go to victory lane here at Dover? Oh, you love to see it. Pit crew got it done. We are the leader. We're going green. Yes, sir. Let's go. Money well spent to upgrade that pit crew. Let's go. Still there. There's our awesome audio glitch. Awesome. Oh boy, it did not turn. Well, the lead didn't last long. Holy shit, it did not turn in one and two. Damn it. Got a car coming inside now. Oh, hell no. We're in the hornet's nest right now. Ross Chastain checking out. Moffitt back to the wall again. Oh, that's a big hit. We're okay. That's probably going to be an angry tweet. Yeah, we're just... The problem is, is that we're still too slow at the start of a run. We're just too slow. But we got 50 laps. That's a nice long run. That's exactly what we need is long run. Well, we're not quite to the point in this run yet where that fl uh, switch flips and we become really, really good and the AI cars start to slow down. We're not quite there. I think we're about to be. I think at Richmond, it took about 10 laps or so for that to kick in. And I think, I think we're starting to get to that point now where, uh, where we'll pull away from those behind us and start catching the two in front of us. Somebody on pit road blown up. I don't know who that was. Got uh, 14 laps on fuel. It'd be great if we could make green flag pit stops here. That would be exciting. This is a this is a tricky pit road to get onto. Very hard pit road to get onto. One of the hardest in all NASCAR, I think. One of the slowest pit roads. It's just such an abrupt turn. Here, watch for it the next time we go by. So imagine you're on these, you know, in these big sweeping banked corners and yeah, going 160 or whatever. And all of a sudden, you just got to stop and turn dead left right there to get to pit road at 35 miles an hour. Very hard to do. All right, Sheldon, we're here, buddy. How bad do you, uh, how bad do you want second right now? Stay out the bottom. Top three, use it if you need it. Yep, yeah, thank you. Bye. All right, now we set our sights on the leader, Ross Chastain. 42 laps to go, plenty of time. Lap traffic looming ahead as well. That always creates some interesting moments. I like our chances. If we play this thing right, I think we can walk out of here with a dub. All right, Gus, what, what damn lane are you running here? Snowflake. Even with all that, we're, we're reeling in Chastain. We are reeling him in. But if we get green flag pit stops, we got to execute. Can't be messing about. No speeding penalties. I will be absolutely sick to my stomach if I get a speeding penalty and throw this race away. Six laps or so on fuel. Oh, we are there. We are there. Hello, Ross. Watermelon man, how's it going? You're all clear up top there. <laughs> Why? 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 We'll do it all over again, I guess. Son of a bitch. Okay. That was a uh, poorly timed caution as we were about to take Coming the lead, the but driver. here we go again. I loosened it up a little bit. I made a little wedge adjustment because we just, we fire off so tight. I think we can loosen it up just a hair. We'll see. Hopefully it wasn't a bad decision to make, but I think we could be a little bit looser. Get a little more turn. Pow. <laughs> Sheldon, we got to stop meeting like this, brother. 
I'm trying to get off the corner. You're trying to get off the corner. I get it. I get it. Got a car coming inside now. Yeah, I don't think so, Johnny. Right, clear low. Yeah, you son of a bitch. I think the wedge adjustment was a good change. It it definitely turns a lot better on the bottom now. And that's that's why we get killed on these first couple of laps on a restart because the AI just run the bottom and they're so much faster. They have so much more grip still. Whereas my truck likes to run in the middle and then take a late arc down on exit. Ooh, and we have a caution again. Nobody's going to pit. Can't make it to the end if we take fuel because it could be like 25 laps to go when we restart. Can't save three laps of fuel. I don't want to give up this track position. We'll stay out. Okay. We're starting in the fourth position here. All right, man. You're coming to the green. Be ready here. Green flag, green flag. 25 green flag. laps to go. Still there inside. We're going to pinch it tight, Johnny. And it didn't work out in my favor because it sent me up the track. Now we're going to be three wide. Oh. It's close. It's close, Ben Rhodes. We're good. Got a car coming Just keep running now. the wall, dude. Oh, boy. We're good. <laughs> Careful. Still there. I'm not leaving this middle lane. I'm not. Hold your line. We can make this work, boys. We can make it work. Look at the leaders running the wall. <laughs> this is great. This is the best racing that we've had all season long. Hands down the best racing that we've had. This has been fun. This has been so fun. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some of that draft off of Sheldon here. Don't mind me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we're in that zone where our truck's just fine. Ooh, we're sending it in there. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. I didn't lift that whole corner. That was great. Oh, 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 three. <laughs> Big Ben Rhodes on the bottom. Oh, this is great. This is, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely line. laughing and smiling. I, this is fun. This is very fun. See, it's nice when you can use the whole racetrack. I'm glad I made that chassis adjustment. That wedge adjustment really allowed me to do what I'm doing right now. Because it probably still would have been a little too tight otherwise. Hey, Ross. How's it going, buddy? Ah, oh, that was outstanding racing. The good news is, is that Sauter didn't get too far out in front from all of us. He swept both stages. We finished second to him in both stages. But we had to go from so far back trying to catch him last time. Now, he's really not that far ahead. He's only, what, a, a second, if that, ahead of us? So we'll reel him in here. We'll reel him in. I just can't get over how good the racing was between all of us. That was so good. <laughs> so here's what's going to happen. We're going to pit at some point. If we get a caution, obviously we'll pit under the caution. But if, if this thing goes green to the end, the AI are going to pit at some point. They're going to take probably just fuel only. Maybe right side tires, but you don't need a whole lot of fuel. So I don't even think you take tires. I think you just try and spend as little time on pit road as you can. And uh, dig. We're going to take right side tires because there's probably, in the time that it takes to get the fuel that you need, you can take on tires. I think. I could be wrong. We're about to find out. But if I, you know, I, I think you can take right side tires in the time it takes to get enough fuel to get to the end. Sauter, if you want to run the top, be my guest. I appreciate it. I'll take that gift all day. Remember when you said uh, hashtag suspend David Shieldhouse? Is that because you knew I was faster than you? 
Bye bye. Oh, and there's the caution. And that changes everything. That's going to put us into a situation where our truck is not good on short runs, and theirs is. And take a can of fuel, four tires, loosen this thing up a little bit, put some tape on it. Let's brawl to the end, boys. And the pit crew gets the money stop done, puts us back out in front. We're Let's go. Ready. Thank you, pit crew. Green time, Let's go. All right, Sauter, what do you got? You're going to do it. You're going to do it around the outside. No. You're clear. Inside. Shit. Ah. This is not what we needed. We're not good on the short run. Oh, boy. Oh boy. I nice saved Ben. Sorry. I'm not lifting. Oh, the hell you are freezing. The hell you are freezing. Ah. Oh, and we're going to have overtime. Interesting. Raphael Lassard. Probably the guilty party there. Wow. What a fight. Ross Chastain, Johnny Sauter, Rhodes freezing in us. Buckle up, everybody. It's time for a two-lap shootout. Can we win this thing? Probably not. We are just going to send it. Ladies and gentlemen, to the green, that is all we can do. Ready. Green flag, green flag. Outside. Come on. Yes. Yes. We'll take it. Come on. Not lifting. Oh, it wasn't a green white checker. It was three to go. Okay. Okay. All right. Ross, run the wall. Perfect. No, run the wall, you dick. Why you come down and run the bottom all of a sudden? Oh. You bastard. Way to hand the win to Johnny Sauter, dipshit. Mike could have done something there. Thought you were gonna run the wall, asshole. Ah! All right. Fine. Third place finish, though. Yeah! That's a good run right there. Man, that was fun. God, what a fight that was. That was the best race of the season by far. We get a third place finish. We finished second in both stages. A good points day, and we had a hell of a brawl with those boys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was awesome. Awesome stuff. All right, let's take a look at the race results. Johnny Sauter sweeps the entire race, wins stage one, wins stage two, and wins the race. Ross Chastain second. We get third, our first top ten, our first top five, our first podium of the year. Ben Rhodes, Friesen, Herps, Creed, Moffat Hill, Jennifer Joe Cobb rounds out the top ten. That's how you know it's a video game. All right, $21 in merch. We're going up, baby. We're going up. Yes, sir. Uh, this is where the post-race awards would be if we had any, but apparently the game didn't feel like loading them. So uh, no post-race awards. You want to talk about things? I made a video. I made my impressions uh, or gave my impressions of NASCAR Heat 5 and all the things that are wrong with it, all the things that carry over the same problems from NASCAR Heat 4 and how buggy and glitched it is and it's launch state. Here's a perfect example. Where's the post-race awards? When you hit the continue button, you see a flash of it, but it's not on screen. And then you get a blank screen. What? What is this? Come on. You're breaking my immersion. And the post-race summary, we finished third. Take about $42,000 home for our efforts. Gain another 72 fans. So now we have 432. Awesome. And uh, we had moderate driving average savings great all right let's take a look at social media speaking of social media if you want to connect with me that's the best way to do it at Schildhaust. you can connect with me on instagram twitter or facebook look forward to hearing from you on there now let's see what these drivers have to say angela ruck 
Hey, at David Schildhouse. What is your deal? The last race was awful. You are a dirty, dirty driver. Hashtag suspended. Shut the fuck up. Josh Rayum at David Schildhouse. Had a really good finish that last race. Way to go. Thanks, Josh. You get a compliment. Austin Hill at David Schildhouse. Had a really good finish that last race. Way to go. Put it on the list of things to get fixed for Heat 6, please. What? What? Seriously, at David Schildhouse, you're making it hard to want to be friends with you. What? Austin Hill? I, I don't know which personality of yours wrote the first tweet and which wrote the second. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Stuart Friesen. Hey, nice job out there, David Schildhouse. Couldn't bother to at me, which is fine. That's a great top five. Hey, Stuart, great racing with you. That was fun. Todd Gilliland. Wow. Nice top five at David Schildhouse. Wouldn't be surprised to see you on the podium next time. Hashtag trophy life. Uh, Todd, I was on the podium. I finished third. Th this is why I didn't come to your birthday party. Clay Greenfield, still upset. That must have been your first time at Dover at David Schildhouse because you were all over the place and you ran right into me. Hashtag learn how to drive. Shut up, Clay. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And that will do it for today's episode. Appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you let me know by leaving a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment down below. You know, we got our first top five, a third place finish, man. That's a great finish for us. We were battling it out with the best in the series. So that's pretty exciting. I would say things might be turning around. Up next will be Charlotte, 67 laps. We'll get this thing put back together, take another great truck out there, and hopefully put together another strong run. Got another check mark on our incentive contract as well. One more top 15, and we'll get an extra 8700 bucks. We'll take it. So we've been maximizing those dollar dollar bills. That'll do it for this one. Appreciate you watching. If you're new to the community, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join us. Ring that notification bell as well, so you'll never miss an upload. Lots of sim racing content coming your way. You can catch me over on my Twitch channel, live streaming iRacing most nights, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash Schildhouse. As always, appreciate you watching this one. We will see you in the next episode at Charlotte.